last video. That's what the, if y'all, like, every time y'all seen me drinking water right before the thing came up, because I was actually eating on these worms and, mm hmm Over here smacking the snacker. All right. Marriage Medicine, Season 5, Episode 6. That voodoo that you do so well. So, Heavenly is saying how she feels that Mariah needs to validate herself. I.e. saying that Mariah can, she can't coexist on the show by herself because she needs somebody to film with, which that's true. All these women wouldn't have shit to do if, um, they didn't have somebody to film with. I do feel that they could do more with Mariah. I think that for whatever reason, Andy doesn't like Mariah. I think Andy likes quite them. Ash, I'll get to that later. Hopefully I remember. Jackie Mariah Qua Yeah, Jackie Mariah Qua Contessa. Am I missing anybody? And Toya. Uh, they go get beignets. <laughs> And Jackie said, look at that toy. Yeah, I need to put these carbs down. But that was a confessional. Again, some of the shit that I really do wish that Dr. Jackie would see on camera. But this goes back to something that Mariah has said to you, which is like, you're shady just like the rest of us, but you do yours differently. I, you, do, you do your shade away from other people, and a lot of shit you don't say is what it is. Now, Simone Heavily, that is Simone tricks heavily and takes her to a voodoo place. And Simone been doing a lot of shit, which, and I got it. If I sit here and tell, she was like, if I tell the ladies what I want to do, they were all going to say no, but you, but it's just like, you're doing this not because you didn't want to expand their harassment, but you know that you're going to get a reaction. And that's just one of those ways. It's like, there's certain levels of shit that you should push. When it comes to voodoo, <clears throat> for people of certain religions you know where like i said because i believe in spirits is and third but like i said i'm jewish like i said i've gone to catholic services i've gone to a lot of different fucking services even though that is nothing that i deal with but i make sure that before i go in i make sure that i'm prayed up and you know whatever exists whatever i came in with let me leave with let me let me not leave with anything different you know and also having to understand you know other different things like me i have friends of various background i have friends that are muslim i have friends that are satanists friends that are atheists i have well, i have a friend that, that mother believe in aliens you know it is what it is you know i can coexist with you shit i can come work i can come you know for the most part worship with you i mean i'm gonna be there i ain't gonna be doing all the damn rituals and shit but that's me that's not everybody so heavily agrees to pray before they win it they go in heavily is freaked out i'm not gonna lie i probably would have been freaked out too but the guy that was there really dropped some knowledge on him and that is simone asked if he could recommend somebody that could come and do like a healing session with them and dr heavily was just like like dr heavily freaked out her whole thing is no it ain't me i don't want to do it like let's not do that and she was just like, I'm pretty sure the rest of the girls are not going to feel it because of their faith. And all their faiths are pretty much the exact same. Now, Dr. Simone says that <clears throat> her professional, they've tried various different things and nothing has worked. You know, like the whole lemon thing, all the different conferences and whatnot. But she never once said that they called in a spiritual advisor to come in. So y'all ain't tried everything. So miss me on the bullshit. And Dr. Heavy was talking about her faith. And Dr. Simone pushed the button talking about some well, when it comes to your faith, you need to walk in it. Why she say that? And I think Heavenly really wanted to haul off and knock the fuck out of her. Like I really do think that Heavenly, Heavenly felt so fucking disrespected. And I mean they eventually kind of calmed that shit, but I was just like, mm. so all the girls get together and <clears throat> Pretty much, it comes out about the whole voodoo thing. And Heavenly was one like, well, she wanted to bring somebody in with the voodoo. And you can see everybody's face like, mm, no, mm, not my Jesus. Like, that's how they all were. And Heavenly gave her that look like, bitch, I told you. Like, that's the look that she gave her. And Dr. Jack was like, you know what? How about we have a forgiveness ceremony? 
I kind of feel like James Cole on this. Fuck the forgiveness shit. But whatever. So they go eat crawfish. They trying to tell Jackie, like, like, this how you suck the head. And they were trying to allude to, I swear, I think they were trying to allude to the fact of that's why your husband ain't here. Is it just me? Y'all let me know. Now the girls at this point are loose. And you know, it's like, okay, they're able to coexist and whatnot. So they get to the healing. Heavenly apologizes to Mariah for the mother comments. I didn't like the fact that Mariah was like, I accept it, but I don't think that the, you know, other people more or less her mother can accept it. But again, she was saying it to you. They keep it on you. Mariah says that she feels the only person she had forgiven <clears throat> was Jackie for the uh, herpes comment. Now you have some people that feel like, okay, that wasn't valid enough. But you have quad that's still hurt about the whole living in the car. You can't you can't invalidate somebody's feelings. If that's how somebody feels, how somebody feels. But even though you can't invalidate somebody's feelings, you also can't tell somebody when the fuck to get over some shit. Let's be clear about that. So then <clears throat> they uh go and point out that you know you can't sit here and talk about wrongdoing and not point out what you did to contribute to it, which I think <clears throat> they everyone should have taken that out of the context of what they were talking about and broadened it to some of what was going on with these relationships. <clears throat> because even though I'm not blaming Jack for what happened in her marriage, the reality is she contributed something to it, which led to the outcome. Granted, Curry should have never cheated. But again, that was a word that they all should internalize. And Simone was the one that said, and I think that she needs to internalize that shit her goddamn self. Probably shouldn't say goddamn, don't forget that. Anyway, <clears throat> Quad says she's good with being cordial. And at this point, Quad didn't, I mean, I'm, again, I'm not trying to come down to Quad, but like Quad didn't have to say anything. But I know eventually we're going to get to her. And Toya says she feels that forgiveness brings positive energy. Not necessarily. Like, here's the thing. There's motherfuckers that I've forgiven, but I still don't want shit to do with you. Because my whole thing is this. It happened. I had time to sit here and internalize what the fuck happened. I done got my fucking feelings shit, you know, in check. I forgive you for what the fuck you did, but here's the thing. You stay the fuck over there with the bullshit. <clears throat> People feel that, oh, you forgive me, you forget. No, I forgive, but I don't forget the shit that you did. And just because I forgive you, that doesn't mean that I need to be in your fucking presence. Trust me when I say it's many fucking family I don't fuck with. It is what the fuck it is. And it's just the point where it's just like, I don't want to fucking deal with you. I forgive you for the shit that you did, but I ain't got shit that I, I don't want to deal with you because I'm at a point of being happy. I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness for the sake of being attached to somebody just so I can call you family. Same thing with friendship. I'm not going to sacrifice my happiness just to call somebody a fucking friend. Miss me with that bullshit. So <clears throat> Jackie says that night has helped her. When it comes to forgiveness, and she's going to take that and other things and actually channel that to her marriage, Dr. Simone says the same exact thing. Cecil and Simone. Cecil says she's, Simone says she's going to put, you know, put in at work. They have a little dispute over who the fuck going to schedule a counseling appointment. But I feel, Dr. Cecil, you should be the one to schedule it because you have your schedule's all over the fucking place. Because she like, well, if you want to go play golf, and it's just like that whole apples to orange shit that I don't fucking agree with. It's just like, those are two totally separate different fucking things. On some real shit, I think Simone just liked to argue. And I think it was either James or Sean Bra James Cole or Sean Bryan that was saying that they already look separated. Because he came on like, I'm just coming on here to get this and that. Like, they really do seem fucking separated. And <clears throat> he asked her if she gonna come over and see the boy. She like, no, I'm gonna finish unpacking and do some charm. But I mean, I'm gonna see them. Now I feel the kind of ways about that. Like you've been gone, but you don't want to see your kids at the same exact time. I'm gonna flip it and be like, see, you could have brought the kids over to see her. But still, you not gonna go see your kids. Okay. Mariah's meeting with her is back home with her mama Lucy to catch up. Lucy was just being messy. Like I didn't even write what was saying back and forth, but it appeared to me that Mariah wasn't trying to be messy. It was just telling the story and Mama Lucy just saying how, you know, they're intimidated, quasi intimidated, this, that, and the third. And I don't like <clears throat> now Mariah did say she don't remember what she did to, you know, quad. And of course Bravo ran back to the seats. 
But again, Bravo did not run back all of the shit that Quad has done and said. And again, that's why I say I think Andy has his favorites and he's going to paint the picture a certain way. Because I don't know if it is Bravo in general that don't like Mariah or if it's Andy. But it is what it is. Quad and Greg, he says that when she went and got some stuff for him, she made some ribs, real looks nice. But she went and got some stuff for the office and he's like, you know what, I really appreciate you doing that because I haven't had the time. And she was like, well, it's nice to hear that you appreciate it. And it really seemed like she was going in to fucking take this fucking fight. And, you know, he says that uh, he feels like he is being thrown under the bus. Now, I don't know if it's because she checked out of this relationship or if it's because she was baiting his ass. But you can tell she was baiting him. You can't tell me that she isn't. Like, granted, like, when you checked out, you can see have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because, like, here's the thing. If I want somebody to go the fuck out, I know exactly how to fucking get on somebody. Be nice, cool, calm, and collected, and let you sit here and get all up in your emotions. Come on now. If you, the Real Housewives franchise, I mostly watch Atlanta. Kenya does it a whole lot where it's just like, I'm going to keep it right here, and you bring it up here, but I'm going to stay right here and let you get mad because I'm not bringing it. It's all the fuck that happened. And, you know, she says that there's a lack of emotional support and consideration. And he's trying to figure out, okay, well, what the fuck is it? Let me know why you don't feel appreciated. And, you know, she's like, well, either she said, you don't, no, he, she was like, you don't call. He was like, I do call. You either send it to voicemail, you block me, all sorts of stuff. And he got mad at that point where he was like, he he fell into the trap. Because at one point, she tried to do a little tear. Then he did kind of go, like, are you are you finished so I can talk? But, you know, he went the fuck in. It's like, I call you, you don't do this. You block me, so say you don't block me. And she just like, pretty much, just, I can't say nothing else. But she fucking literally lured him into that fucking argument on some real shit. And... She was like, good deflection with the phone. And he's like, it's not that. And then she pulled this one move. I'm not going to say exactly what it is. But y'all tell me what the fuck she did. She's like, I feel like you're combative. You're argumentative. Almost like, I fear for my life. Set this ass up for the okie doke. And I don't think he caught it. And, you know, he's like, what do you need me to do? She's like, you know what? I wrote it down. Let me go. And he's like, no, don't, don't. tell me. Say to me what the issue is. But she want to go grab her notebook that she wrote some shit in three years ago. That said, tell him. He got mad and he fucking peeled the fuck off. He's like, you know, I'm done with this shit. That was the episode, y'all. That's the end of my reviews. And I got to sit here and edit them and pull them off. So that's all I got. I know at the households, when I wake up first thing in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and edit these videos. Take my ass sleep because I know I got to wake up in the morning and get that video out. And I have a long day ahead of me. So rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning <laughs> for the Houses of Atlanta. Peace.